Greetings, fellow billionaires. Allow me to introduce you to an incredible AI tool, Flux AI. This cutting edge image generator is revolutionizing the way we create visual content. Flux AI can produce highly detailed images in various styles, and the best part is that you don't need a powerful graphics card to use it. Whether you're working on a high-end machine or a basic setup, Flux AI is accessible online, sometimes even for free or with daily credits. In this quick guide, I'll show you how to access Flux AI for free, share prompt tips to help you create stunning images, and introduce you to a website where you can immediately start generating incredible visuals with Flux. Get ready to elevate your creative projects with the power of AI. Before we dive in, I want to let you know that I've put together a Google Doc with all the links to the AI tools and prompts I'll be using today. This document is designed for your convenience, allowing you to practice along with the tutorial and get hands-on experience with these powerful tools. I truly value your support, which is why I've taken the time to create this resource just for you. I'd greatly appreciate it if you could take a moment to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Your support helps YouTube recommend my content to other amazing individuals like yourself who are eager to explore the world of AI. So without further ado, let's jump right in and start creating some incredible images together. On the Flux AI GitHub page, you'll find a comprehensive list of services where the Flux models are currently active. To start using these services, you'll need to add a payment method. If you're open to using paid options, I recommend giving them a try. For those with powerful systems, you can even install Flux AI locally. The Black Forest Lab website offers examples and detailed explanations of the various models available. Flux AI features three primary models, Flux Pro, Flux Dev, and Flux Schnell. Flux Pro delivers the highest quality and detail, making it the top choice for premium image generation. Flux One provides state-of-the-art performance with exceptional visual quality and output diversity. For those focused on speed and local development, Flux Dev is the fastest model, tailored for personal use. In each section, you'll find icons that allow you to access these models directly. There are numerous websites where you can access Flux AI tools online, but today, let's focus on exploring the Glyph website. To get started, open your browser and navigate to Glyph app. You'll find the link conveniently placed in the description below. Once you're on the site, you'll need to sign up for an account. After registration, you'll be granted 20 free credits daily, giving you a generous starting point for your image generation projects. Once logged in, your next step is to click on the Build link in the navigation bar, which will guide you to the creative workspace. You'll then see a plus icon, which you should click to initiate the process. A pop-up window will appear, presenting several options. Look for the purple button labeled Image Generator and click on it. This action will bring up a text box where you'll input your text prompts for generating images. Below the text box, you'll notice a section called Image Generation Model. This is where you can select the model you want to use for your image creation. Glyph offers a variety of powerful options, including Stable Diffusion XL, DALL-E 3 by OpenAI, Control ISM V, Flux Pro, Flux Dev, and Flux Schnell. For now, we'll start with Flux Pro, known for its exceptional image quality. Later in this guide, we'll experiment with some of the other Flux models to give you a comprehensive view of their capabilities. Once you've selected the model, you'll need to choose the image size. Glyph provides several aspect ratio options to suit different purposes, but for our project, we'll go with the landscape option, which aligns perfectly with YouTube's standard aspect ratio of 16, 9. This format is ideal for creating visuals that are optimized for video content. In addition to these basic settings, Glyph offers advanced controls that allow you to fine-tune your image generation. You can adjust the number of steps which influences the detail and quality of the final image, as well as the prompt power, which determines how closely the output matches your input description. These advanced settings give you greater control over the creative process, ensuring that the images you generate meet your exact specifications. Let's dive in and harness the power of this remarkable AI tool to generate some truly stunning images. Whether you're looking to create artwork, design elements, or simply experiment with AI-generated visuals, Glyph has everything you need to bring your ideas to life. So let's get started and see what incredible images we can produce with the Flux Pro model and beyond. Let's begin with our first prompt. Generate an image of a beautiful woman with a curvy shape, an oval face, wide hips, and blue eyes. She's wearing a short skirt and a tank top, both in yellow. She's in a bar with a big smile on her face. Now let's give the model a moment to work its magic. And here it is, a stunning image of a woman with an attractive smile. One of the first things that caught my eye in this image is the blurred background. 
it seems that the Flux Pro model automatically applies this effect, which helps to focus the viewer's attention on the main subject. This is a great way to highlight the character in the image. However, I did notice something interesting. While I specifically requested a woman with wide hips, the generated image shows a slim-looking lady instead. This points to one of the nuances of working with AI models like Flux Pro. Sometimes the output might not exactly match the detailed requests in your prompt, but this is part of the learning process. The more images we generate, the better we understand how to fine-tune our prompts to get the results we want. So, without further ado, let's move on to the next prompt. This time, I'll make a few small adjustments to see how they affect the outcome. Here's the new prompt. Generate a bird's eye view image of a beautiful woman with a curvy shape, an oval face, wide hips and blue eyes. She is wearing a short skirt and a tank top, both in yellow. She's in a bar with a big smile on her face. The key difference here is the addition of the phrase bird's eye view. This tells the model to create an image that looks as if it was taken from above. Now let's look at the result. You can see that the image is captured from the top of the room, giving us a different perspective on the scene. This is a perfect example of how adding just a few words to your prompt can significantly alter the outcome. The phrase bird's eye view has guided the model to generate an image that not only meets the basic description, but also adds a dynamic overhead perspective that changes how we perceive the scene. I encourage you to try out these prompts on your own. They will be available in the Google Doc that you can download after watching the video. The link to the document is in the description, so feel free to download it and experiment with these prompts at your leisure. Now let's move on to another interesting prompt. Generate a bird's eye view image of a Roman soldier on a horse in the desert with dust swirling around the horse's hooves. The Roman soldier has an angry expression and his face bears marks. When you take a close look at this image, you'll notice how the bird's eye view really captures the essence of the scene. It's almost as if you're flying above the soldier, looking down at him and his horse as they ride through the dusty desert. This perspective adds drama and intensity to the image, making it feel like a moment frozen in time. This is what happens when you use specific phrases like bird's eye view in your prompts. You get an image that conveys not just the appearance of the scene, but also its mood and atmosphere. To make this process easier for you, let me explain some of the best phrases you can use with the Flux model to achieve outstanding results. Angle of shot. The angle from which a photograph is taken can dramatically change the feel of an image. A low angle photograph, where the camera is positioned below the subject, gives a sense of power or dominance. On the other hand, a high angle shot taken from above the subject can make the subject appear smaller or more vulnerable. Experiment with these angles to add different emotional tones to your images. Focus and background. To draw attention to your subject while blurring out the background, use terms like bokeh or bokeh photograph. This effect, where the background is softly out of focus, helps the main subject of the image stand out clearly. It's particularly useful in portraits or any scene where you want the viewer's attention to be firmly on the subject. Perspective. The perspective from which an image is viewed can make a big difference. For a view from above where the subject is seen from a height, use bird's eye view. This perspective is great for showing a scene in its entirety, offering a sense of scale and context. Alternatively, use top-down view if you want to look directly down on a subject, which can give a more intimate and detailed perspective, allowing you to see not just the subject, but also its surroundings. By incorporating these tips and phrases into your prompts, you'll be able to generate more precise and visually striking images with the Flux model. Remember, Practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to experiment with different combinations and see what works best for you. I hope these insights help you in your journey with Flux AI. Let's continue exploring the possibilities together. To generate images using Flux Pro, visit their website at fluxpro.art. Keep in mind that any images you create will be made public, which helps Flux improve its services. To get started, register on the site and then click on Create in the navigation bar at the top of the homepage. Once you click Create, you'll see a designated section or box where you can input your prompts. Additionally, you'll have the option to select a safety mode with choices like Safe, Mild, Nature and Explicit. If you want to learn more about these different safety modes, simply click on the Safety option. You can also review the content policy in this section. Furthermore, you can adjust the aspect ratio of your image by clicking on the Aspect Ratio drop-down menu to choose your preferred dimensions. Now let's dive into generating some images using Flux Pro. Here's our prompt. Generate an image of a beautiful girl and a handsome boy running in the clouds, both filled with happy expressions and smiles on their faces. For this particular prompt, we'll be using the Mature Safety option, so let's go ahead and click on Create. 
As you can see, the quality of the generated image is exceptional. The details are sharp and the overall composition really brings the scene to life. The mature safety option allows for a more nuanced and expressive output, which can be particularly effective for certain types of artistic imagery. If you're exploring different ideas, I encourage you to try out various prompts using this website. The flexibility and range of the Flux Pro model mean you can experiment with different themes, styles and concepts, and I believe you'll consistently achieve impressive results. Whether you're looking to create something simple or more complex, the tool adapts well to a wide array of creative directions. Before you go, make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any future tutorials or tips. Also, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. It helps others discover this content and supports the channel. Thank you so much for watching this far. Your support means a lot, and I hope to see you in my next post. Stay creative, and see you next time.